Hello, my name is Paul Setner. I'm an Applications Engineer with Advanced Solutions Incorporated. Today I want to take a look at the second process we initially talked about within our first video uh, and the ability to create copy designs. And in this installment, we'll take a look at using Autodesk Vault to actually process that change. So in this case, take a look at our original caulking gun assembly. Um, in this ex example, I've actually made a, a drawing of it uh, as well. We'll take a look at exactly processing one of those changes to our individual parts. We'll focus on the casing part again and how, again, that's going to relate to copied versions of the assembly, the drawing, and, of course, the individual part. So first off, let's go back into our vault environment. And in, again, in our initial installment, we talked about a couple different flavors of vault. And in each one of the different flavors, you will have the ability to use this copy design process. So no matter what flavor you have, we'll have the ability to just right click on our individual files, choose the copy design option, and basically take advantage of keeping all of our relationships intact and basically deciding you know, which version do we want to reuse, which versions of the, the relationships do I actually want to make a copy of. So since I right clicked on our actual drawing file, it's already setting it to a copied state. Now take a look at this dialog box, similar to what Design Assistant entails. It's basically just a matter of where am I going to send my copied instance to. So again, if I want them to be deposited in the same folder, just arbitrary folder locations depending on our environment. But in this case, I'm going to pick a V2 subfolder that I have ready to go inside of my vaulted folder structure. Again, as I choose that path, for any file that I have a copy status to, it's already going to the, the vault, new vaulted path, my caulking on V2. So similarly to our drawing file, I also want to make a copy of our assembly and the casing part itself. So I have a couple of ways to do that. I can either right click and say copy that individual file. Or at the forefront of this dialog box, we have icons next to our file type symbol. And it gives me the ability to kind of toggle back and forth between a, either a reuse state, I'm just going to reuse that original reference file, or I'm going to set it to a copied state. So I can just left click on this icon, or again, just right click anywhere along this row and set it to a copied instance. Now, similar to Design Assistant, we also talked about using a replace option. So again, if I already have a a copied instance that I've already modified, I can simply uh, replace this original casing file with the, the already existing version that is, is edited and ready to go and just swap it out at this point. But in this case, I don't have one ready. So again, I'm going to set this to a copied status as well. Uh, what the desi design assistant did not have is this extra naming utility down at the bottom. So I can just quickly add a prefix or a suffix depending on our naming scheme, whatever might work. And if it's applicable, I'll just apply this new naming scheme, again, to anything that is being copied in this dialog box. So, again, my drawing, my assembly, and my part all getting this V2 suffix. So, at this point, we'll just hit OK. And again, we're going to let Vault manage all of these relationships for us, process those new files it's going to create, my V2 files, and also, again, deposit them in my named folder. Now, before I even start, start to take a look at updating this stuff in Inventor, as I investigate some of these different files, what Vault also brings to the table is an environment to allow me to inspect relationships between my different files. So in Vault, in my Vault browser, I actually have a Uses tab, which kind of tells me, you know, for this file that you actually have selected, you know, what does it actually use? What is it? What makes up my drawing file? Well, I have an instance of my caulking gun assembly, which in turn has links all to these individual parts. So same thing on my caulking gun V2. Since I've made some copied versions of our files, as I select this V2 drawing, I can see it's linked to my V2 assembly and the V2 casing. So even before I start to make my edits, I can see things are already taking shape uh, the way I want them to. So let's go over to Inventor and process these changes. Let's open up from Vault our new V2 instance. And the, the main goal of what Vault does help drive is basically ownership of files. So here it's just asking me to check out the files. Uh, and again, to prevent simultaneous changes to all of our different files. So we can have more than one person working on the same file and editing that. So it helps prevent those simultaneous changes and helps just promote more of a collaborative environment. 
So again, here I can see links to my V2 assembly. And again, here's my V2 casing. Let's open up this guy and edit it and see how it's going to update. Make the same change we did in our last installment of the video. And that is, let's just increase this outside shell. So it's just that, that casing on the outside, just basically starting to, again, help shell in that, that tubing that would fit inside of here. Again, let's save this and start to process this update. Here you can see as I'm going to open up my drawing again, I can see already it's prompting me to update the views taking place inside of this drawing. So I can see every single view where this updated casing part exists, it's going to go ahead and process those updates. Save this and check it in. Now again, just to compare, let's go back to our original caulking gun drawing, compare it to our V2 instance, and again, I can see just all of our relationships being maintained. Here, back to my original casing, the original caulking gun, and our original drawing file. So I now have two separate iterations processing our changes, all maintaining the relationships back inside of our Autodesk Vault data management product. Again, thank you for your time today. Appreciate your attention. Again, hopefully this helps with your copy design questions. Thanks a lot.